Good evening YouTube. Today we're going to be showcasing some of the beers available in the Dutch supermarket. Now tonight I was in the supermarket doing shopping and I noticed two cans of beer which may not be familiar to everybody. So first off we've got the uh, pit beer, 5%, 500ml can. Going for the large cans to leak out for everybody here. Um, Get produced here for Euro Select Baby Post Bust. There you go. So that's um, Euro Select uh, BB. So there you've got, well, it's, got Dutch, it's produced by a Dutch company. It's Dutch postcode on there. Similar to the Premium Doors Pilsner. What it says here on the front. Gebrauen Med B Baster Grundstoff. So that's built with the uh, brewed with the, the with the best stuff, the best materials basically from the best ingredients I suppose it would literally translate that. So Cabral um passive for smack. So it's it's brewed with a passion for taste, it's a five percent so it's, it's in line with the rest of them. Um Oh, right, okay, so the ingredients is water, malt, glucose, syrup, hot extract, colours, um, caramel, aroma. Um, there's some gluten in there, so be careful. So it's, um, it's actually got marked up as the Jumbo Supermarket Bay Bay. So it's been brewed for Jumbo, which is a the Dutch supermarket we're in today. They've not given a freebie, so we're not going to endorse them. Um, another one which you may well know, which has big red star, is the Heineken, uh, Amstel and Grolsch. So these are three other Dutch breweries which we are expecting to see a good quality lager from. In my personal opinion on them, I'm going to keep out of it. Uh, this is really what we're looking at today. Um, but I want to use these as a kind of like tester because with this Heineken we should be, it's the world's best beer according to the brewer isn't it? It's the world's best beer, nothing should be wrong with it so I will look at that one. I'm so depending on what kind of horn you are, it's also the world's best beer. And Grosch, also depending on what kind of holiday you are, it's the world's best beer. Those are our two most popular in the Netherlands. We just have to have massive swaths of the market, so everything looks the same colour. Possibly could argue there's more bubbles coming up in the Amstel, but have we poured it right? You know. We know there's a slightly fresher taste with the growth. Oh, that's what we're expecting. These could be different, but you know, mass producer will have the same. This is the Doors Premium. How you pronounce that? I don't know. Is Doors like English or not? But Words of the editing department, so you heard that now. Last but not least is the pit beer. I'm pointing to dry glasses um, today, and the Dutchies would tell you that if you point into a dry glass, the head won't keep. That's why they spool it when they wash it, they, they rinse the glass beforehand. But getting into the serious um, things of serious technology not technologies of keeping heads so you've seen how long they've been poured out they've all got a similar sort of head on them very similar taste and very similar very similar colour and very similar amount of bubbles so 
I'm going to head straight in for this one first. I don't know if he's reading caramel on the ingredients there that set me off, but... Definitely does taste a little bit different, and it's not in a bad way as well. Quite often these cheaper cans, I, I didn't get received, and uh, I, I don't know. I've got eighty-two cents in my head somewhere. Um, but to be honest, it's been that long since I bought a beer in Holland. Well, I don't know if it was yesterday, but it's been that long since I bought a beer in Holland. I don't want to know the price of these half litre cans, and I don't think. They've got the deposits, nothing mentioned about the deposit system on it yet. So this can by rest of hell. So it's asking me to put that in the bin. It's not even asking me to recycle that one. Um, I don't think they've got the deposit scheme to go up and running yet on the cans. Been a bit of talk about it in Holland. Yeah, there's not a lot going on there, taste-wise. Um, definitely don't think it's anything really exciting, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'd probably just not bother with that one. Uh, let's just see if Heineken tastes any different than it, it ever, ever did. Now with these two bad boys, I've always been of the same opinion. When you see the majority of the boosters in Holland, it's either got a Heineken star or an Amstel sign outside, so it's one or the other. I've drunk them both. Um, and to be honest, I can hardly tell the difference in them. Um, sometimes when I'm drunk Heineken all night, then I switch to an Amstel, I, I taste the difference, but to me they might as well come out the same brewery and that's exactly what I'm feeling tonight last up is the Grosch once again as with these three we know what we're getting they're that commercial the Grosch has got a slightly different taste I find the growth more palatable to be perfectly honest. Out of, the, out of those three, I would definitely have those. I think I'm pretty much going to dismiss the, the pit beer. Um, unless there was a major leak at the Heimlich and Amstel Breweries and the golf lads were all on strike and had the choice of these two, then I think it would be the doors. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put Grosch at the top the first one and I'm not sure whether to put the doors above the other two to be perfectly honest I think it would be down to personal preference what I would like to do is Really, I think doing the Pepsi challenge would be the great thing on that. That that is that would be an ideal scenario to be blindfolded, the glasses to be let let up, remove the blindfold, and see if anyone. You know, I'm pretty sure we'd get the Grosch. I'm pretty sure we'd get the doors. To be honest, uh, well, if you'd had a sample taste, I think you would. 
Well, there's not a lot of them, but they're all pretty generic. Um, yeah. Yeah, we've all had these, but we've never had them, so. say that's number two then. We'll go like that. First, second, third, fourth, fourth. So teamies, if you're ever um, at a rather large discount supermarket in the Netherlands and you're wondering whether to go to the, to the doors or the uh, pit, for the doors rather than the pit, um, and if not, or you feel a bit flush, you know, cross is probably the one that you want. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoy.